tough Norm Smith to decide this one. Centre wing ball. Lines. He's the fresh legs. Goes in ball by hand. Gets it back to Berry. He runs out of trouble. Nice spin. Berry drives it forward. Brisbane need a mark. Cameron Maynard. Maynard. Cameron. Quainer. Cameron. 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 Goals it. Charlie Cameron. What a finish that is. He took care of two pies. Brisbane lead by two points. 5.31 on the clock. Charlie's got three. He just willed that footy to get through the sticks, Chiefy. Well, we spoke about Eric. We also spoke about Charlie. Poor first quarter. He came back into the game in the second. Drifted out again in the third. But you've only got to kick a couple of goals to get your team home. As soon as the ball came to ground, that's when he was at his most dangerous. Pushing and shoving with Maynard, I think it was, to get the ball to ground. And then he was off to the race with Maynard or Quainer. It was Quainer Quainer. behind him, yeah. No, no, Maynard one on one, yeah. It was Maynard first up to get it to ground, and then it was Quainer chasing him. Four kicks, three goals, Charlie. Lead Quainer. change number nine, two, am I correct? Spot on, Das. It's a warning, 6 6 6 against Collingwood. We're going to throw it up. So it's going to be a thrown up ball, 5 31 remaining. In the 2023 Grand Final, the Lions hit the front. Nick Dacos gets it to Pendlebury. They go forward here, the Magpies. Meyer check. Gardner with a spoil. Here's Nick Dacos. Oh. Clever handball. Got it to Ngoi. Quick reply coming up. Oh, Jordan Ngoi. You can't believe it. Lead change number 10. Collingwood hit the front. And Ngoi gets his second in one of the great grand finals you're ever going to see ever. Pies oh, back in front. That hurts Brisbane, Brownie. They worked so hard to get their goal, and in an instant, the lead's wiped away. You wanted your best players in that moment to respond. So you're five and a half minutes, you've got the stoppage in the middle of the ground. Who do you want to get the ball? So you're looking towards Penderbury. Bang, big tick. He gets the first one out of the middle. Then Nick Dacos runs onto it. He gets the quick handball out to a man, Jordan to go, he can go from 55, so if there's three players, I want to touch the ball out of that middle, the three players got the football, and to finished. Gee, they got there quicker than the Brisbane midfield, to and Nick Dacos out of the centre square, midfield for Brisbane, left lagging. And Pendlebury, number one ranked player in this quarter, nine disposals, three tackles, has 22 for the game. Oh, he's coming for Norm as well. The big boys in the middle, tapped forward by Cox, Wilmot goes off the ground, the Pies lead it by four points. Five on the clock. Quainer sends around the corner to side bottom. He marks it from the away another 50. 50. It's 50 for side bottom. He'll end up oh, 55 from home, I reckon. It's a couple of times. Jared Berry's done that. Big decision. Fagan can't believe it. You've got to recognise the moment. He's taken the mark. No point then tackling him to ground. Where's the umpire going? He's going right on 50. I don't think Steele's got the legs, has he? Your area, Nate? No, still doesn't have the legs from there. I would have thought it. I think he'll be setting this one up. Get Big Coxie down to the goal square. Get Bobby Hill at his feet. That's what they're doing. Side bottom to land what could be the knockout blow. He's going to have a shot. Kick a barrel still. Been wrong before that, Chuck. Yeah. A four point lead to Collingwood. 4.38 on the clock. It's going to take absolutely everything Steel side bottom has got. Hits 50. Drives it side bottom. Oh. Side bottom drives it oh. and he bangs it home. What are we seeing in the G? Collingwood out by 10 points. Clock stops at 423. And Steele just goes Wooshka from 53. 10 point margin. Collingwood to the good. Oh, that might be the sealer. He found 10 metres. I didn't think he had. Oh, I didn't think and he had. And he either. filled it low. It just had penetration. It took off once it left the boot. Extraordinary. In the blink of an eye, they've turned the game on its head, Collingwood, and now it's theirs to lose. As soon as the umpire marked the mark, he was supremely confident. He walked up like a man who knew he had the distance. We doubted him here in this box, but there's four minutes 23 to go. Brisbane worked so hard to get that one goal to get them in front. Collingwood, in a flash, get two back. Jared Berry gives away a 50-metre penalty. His next two minutes needs to be big. He needs to try and do something for the Brisbane Lions. Stoppage is now, but Collingwood, they train for this. This is what they do. This is what Collingwood have built for over the last 24 months. They'll try and keep everything in close now and just soak time up. You can't describe how good that kick from Steel Sidebottom is. His 309th game of AFL football, 29 degree day. He's supposed to lose distance, yep. Chief. And I'm seeing something extraordinary in the oh. Premier Harvey Norman. Chief, tell me what's happening over there. Oh, big, got... big Ned. 
Isn't he loving it in the grandstands? Collingwood people, president. People getting selfies with four minutes to go. Late like well, the grand Gill final. and the Prime Minister were getting a selfie with four on the clock to us. Ten point lead to the Pies. Can the Lions land a blow and keep this one alive? McCreary, they oh, hold the, the ball. Play on the call. He said he got a kick away. And McInerney crashed into Nick Dacos to Josh Dacos. Frampton. But Harris Andrews with a game saving mark for the moment. This is what Collingwood Chief is so good at. Yep. These closing two, three minutes. McCarthy on the lead. We've got 3.48 on the clock. Collingwood are one goal away from being the Premiers. They lead it by 10 points. Ball in the middle. Josh Dacos hooks it around his body. Brought to ground. Good tackle applied by Bobby Hill. And Dash, you got three minutes and 34 seconds to figure out who you're giving the North Smith medal to. I think you can see Brisbane's attitude now. Yep. Everything they're going to try and do is through the middle of the ground. McKenna socket it off the ground. Side bottom is a hero a moment ago. Puts it in the path of Frampton. Andrews lumbers back after it. He's got to keep it in. He decides just to wander it over. And the clock ticks down to 3.23. Ten points is the margin. It's going to take a Herculean effort from here for the Brisbane Lions. Had to try and keep that ball in then, Harris Andrews. Collingwood looking to finish the game. Take the premiership. Cox taps it down. Lipinski tapped away from him. McKenna, it's a hurry kick. Where does it land? Out of defence. It lands in the hands of Crisp. He'll take his time. He's 52 out. Could the Crisp launch a barrel to bring the premiership back to Collingwood? Well, he'll launch a big drop punt from there and, and he'll just about back himself to make the distance. Already right? kicked the couple. Yep. He'll have to kick it from inside the square. And he goes back and across. It's clever to how now they're taking time side bottom 250 on the clock 10 point margin the way of Collingwood coach is pacing around side bottom he's gonna have to launch one can someone take a mark inside 50 for the pies Frampton at the back falls to Coleman looks for a high won't get one clock will stop that is high 230 it is he's got to go kid he's just got to go up the got guts. To change direction no good going up the line he does exactly as the Chief instructs. Goes straight through the corridor. Danaher launched at it. Chris been really good. They pile in the Magpies. As Nate said, they've got a great ability when they need to to keep it in tight, Chief. Got a spare defender. Scotty Pendlebury's just gone and plonked himself on the last line as an extra behind the ball. 2.15 remaining in the grand final. The Magpies by 10 points. Lockie Neal, the two-time Brownlow winner. It spills out. Little fumble from Mason Cox. And then he gives away a free kick, Howie. They get a goal, and we're still alive. 2.02 on the clock. Collingwood fans can't watch. They're peering through their fingers. Two minutes to go. Brisbane, they drive it forward. Can Joe or Eka take a mark inside? It's fisted down. Eric, hand pass it to space. Brisbane running on to McKenna. This is the game right on the line here. Lions keeps it in just. Falls to McCluggage, managed to keep it in. Steps. McCluggage centering ball. Can they take a mark? Oh. They can. Joe plays on, he plays on! Joe Danaher kicks it! Clock ticks! Four point margin! Clock stops at 1.33! Joe played on of all things! Brisbane fans gasped! And it's a four point margin, 1.33 on the clock. Collingwood to the good Chiefy boy. Oh, we just spoke about the ball deep in defence. Harris Andrews couldn't keep it in. Different uh, set of yeah. circumstances here. Jared Lyons and Hugh McCluggage. Once Lyons got the hand pass over the top, McCluggage just. He had it on a tightrope. He was just walking along that line, keeping the ball in somehow. And then a mongrel kick into the corridor finds Joe. I've got no problem with Joe playing on him there. No. He felt good. He was at the right angle. He just made it happen. Now they've got, got two or well, a minute and a half to find a winner. Just if did not want to have the set shot. So that was the right decision by Joe Danaher. Now, can they win the clear as the Brisbane Lions? Ridiculous oh, oh, oh. AFL grand final. Four points is the ball game in favour of the Pies. A minute 33. We've got the all-important centre bounce coming up. McInerney, Mason Cox does well. Coming off the wing, Berry picked it up beautifully. The play of the day from Berry. The kick goes off the side of the boot. Hoskin Elliott with courage. Crisp has a fresh airy. Lockie Neal picks it up. Free kick's been paid. They're going to pay advantage. Danaher again. Oh. Fisted away. Back to Nick Dacos. Oh. Comes out wide to Hoskin Elliott. And we have a minute eight and counting. The Magpies with the footy. Hoskin Elliott goes short to Mitchell. It's not the required distance. Crisp 
Gets around his man. Has to kick to a contest. Dunkley, it's gone to Harris Andrews. Harris plays on. Four point margin, 53 on the clock. Collingwood defenders come from everywhere. Maynard spun in a tackle. Pendlebury sits on top of it. Umpire will separate him. Clock stops. Oh, that was... 44 seconds. Brisbane in attack. Trailer by four points. That was stiff with the advantage being played. Yeah, the ball. They? Lockie Neal had the free kick. 55 out. 60 metres from the Lions goal. They got 43 seconds to kick a goal to win the grand final. Mitchell's got the free kick. Tom Mitchell's got it. And that could just about be it. Got a man up. Got a man up. If you're Brisbane, don't let him chip the ball backwards, sideways. Clock ticks down to 30 seconds. Oh, they're not going to man up. And they go back to the champ. Pendlebury has been called to play on. So he does and goes short back to Tom Mitchell. 22 seconds and counting. Four points is the margin. Short and wide to Meyer check. They might be home. 15 seconds on the clock. Meyer check. His team leading by four points. They're just about there. Collingwood a mark here. And his job done. They drive it to the line. Big fist of players. Hoskin Elliott drives the ball forward. Two seconds on the clock. McCreary goes hard. Siren! The Kings are the close finish. And the Kings are the AFL. Collingwood are premiers for the 16th time by four points in one of the great grand finals. Great days you'll see at the MCG. Collingwood 12 18 90. Brisbane vanquished just 13 8 86. Collingwood by 10 at quarter time, 6 at half time, 4 at 3 quarter time, the Pies 12, 18, 90, Brisbane 13, 8, 86, the 16th Premiership for Collingwood to tag alongside Carlton and Essendon at the top of the tree. And you won't come to the footy and see a better day than that. Outstanding, Howard. They are the king, as you said, of the close finish. And when they needed it tight, they kept it in tight. And just inside that bubble, a five-metre radius. But they had an opportunity, Brisbane. Lockie Neal had a free kick, 55 metres out. The advantage was paid. There was no advantage. It could have been different. But again, Collingwood trained for this. They've been the best side for 24 months at this game for a reason. The close finish again. It's not luck, Chief. Under Craig McRae, prior to this game, that won 12 of 15 when decided by less than the goal. You can now make it 13 out of 16. It's an extraordinary record. They know how to manage game situations. And I'll tell you what, who managed that game situation was Scott Pendlebury. How good he was in that last quarter. His ability to be calm, cool. He's done it his whole career, but when they needed him most in the last quarter, when the heat was on, Scotty Pendlebury's ball movement, his decision making was elite. We yes, also yes. saw we saw Duke passing off his votes to the Norm Smith. I wonder if he's going to get it right. We'll find out shortly. There's the shot of the grand final for mine. Peter Moore vanquished five times on this day for the Pies, hugging his son, who is now a premiership captain.